What is happening, everybody? Molecular Narwhal here with some more Bionz Exile SMP. We are on part three of episode 20. I have some rotten flesh in my inventory. Got in a little tiff with a zombie. Uh, we are on part three. Last episode, we toured Zagag's place. The episode before that, we toured David T. Game's place, Lodopra on the server. And the episode before that, we did the whole server spawn tour. This episode, we are going to do Bintendo Hiss. His name is Bintendo Hiss on YouTube, just like it's spelled under fails. He's at the very bottom. He does not fail very much. And uh, you can also find the link to his channel in the description below. So, uh, this is going to be a little different. We're on his shop, which was actually made by G. Pimby. This is going to kind of be a weird tour. It's going to be the G. Pimby slash Bintendo Hiss tour. Jipimbi is no longer on the server, but he did do a lot, like the shop and his world. And um, Ben used to be at the Ice Plate and Spike biome where he did a lot, um, but he is now at the Jungle biome where he has not done a lot. So we're going to tour what Ben did on the Ice Plate and Spike biome, and then we're going to go there and see what he's done there, and then we're going to go see what Gaz did. So let's go take a look at Bintendo's stuff first. We will go to his original. When we first started the server, he was a Resident of the Ice Plane Spike biome. This he was the only one who had the Ice Plane Spike in his top four. I had it at number five. Uh, I would have. Well, I was basically happy with anywhere. I had. I have uh, ideas for everywhere. I literally have like a journal of ideas for all the things. Anyway, so uh, this is where you spawn in. He. It's kind of a uh, crazy looking because Ice Plane Spike. But uh, let's just go down and try to go in as much of an order as I can remember. So something happened here. Um, when he left the server, we were going to give it to another person. And when I gave it to the other person, I thought, hey, uh, it's a big island. Um, I'll just keep all of Ben's stuff here. And then I'll give the new person a spawn button far away. But what I did was take all the valuable stuff away from this island so that basically it was just the remnants. The looks of it was still here, but the value of it was not necessarily. But um, that person ended up not working out. Um, decided he didn't have time after he got accepted for some reason and uh, here we are um, But I decided to leave it like this because we decided to make it a wilderness and I still wanted it to look nice like Ben made it um, But I of course didn't want somebody to walk in and take everything valuable. So that's gonna be a little damaged I think these used to be uh, sea lanterns But yeah, so this is his pathway. It's uh not quite Lord Oprah's pathway, not David T. Games' pathway, but it's a, a pathway fitting of the biome, I would say. And uh, it's not really a point in making it intricate when it's going to get snow covered. Let's go left first because I think it's not very far. He's got a cactus farm. Of course, that's the first thing you would put in an ice plane spike biome. Over here, he has a, a weird villager farm. I've never seen it quite like this before. This is a, his villager breeder. Then it dumps it into this right here. We can actually uh, manipulate this biome. We can destroy stuff because it is the wilderness. I don't know if you guys saw the wilderness message. I entered the frozen wilderness so I can break stuff. Actually, I can break stuff anywhere I'm opt. I always forget to de-opt myself before these things. That's okay. You guys don't mind. Um, so, there is the villager dealio. Here's the cactus farm. It's going to hit me. Did I hit it back? No, I don't have thorns anymore. Dude, y'all, I was always hating on thorns, but in this series I used thorns, and I accidentally, like, wrecked a chest plate once, and then got just destroyed by Enderman. There's a video about it out there somewhere. It's terrible. Uh, it's where I go to the end with David T. Games, and I just get obliterated, because I don't usually use thorns for that reason. And then I, I'm using it there, and then I my chest plate's gone. And we're just, like, taking on dozens and dozens of Endermen at once. So, like, I would get somewhere and just look around. Because we were trying to farm ender pearls without making an ender farm. But whatever. So let's keep going. Uh, more of Ben's stuff. This is like the... I don't know if it's the first thing. Okay, no, no. Let's look here first. We'll go look at the other thing first. All right, in a second. This is like his melon wheat thing. I think this is like his, his original home or something like that. He can blow us up here, so... We want to watch out for those guys. I don't know what's in there. Oh, I guess we can, uh, I guess we can find out. Uh, uh, this must have been a cow farm or something like that. There must have been some sort of animals here. Oh, I think he had his, uh, some sort of horses there before. And that's why they're no longer here. We'll see his horses soon enough. And here's a mushroom farm. He placed, uh, big mushrooms in here. He used to grow them in here. Oh, they're still there, some. For food source, because Ice Plane Spike is very hard on food. That was, like, his biggest challenge. He was living off 
mushroom soup, which was difficult to watch at times. <laughs> uh, so he built this, uh, I don't remember what it's based off of. Basically, it's just a beach chair, though. Um, he spoke with, like, David Hasselhoff's voice the whole time. It was interesting. Uh, it was a good episode. His, his episodes are really good. They're very chill <laughs> and uh, pretty hilarious. Uh, he builds pretty cool stuff. And then he upgraded it later to this. This is his new, uh, it's like a lifeguard watchtower. This is his new and improved version. And here's Hasselhoff. I guess, I don't know if it's ha supposed to be Hasselhoff or what, but it is. Oh, crap. All right, and then he has a couple other things. He has a ski lodge. He said this is his most, I think he used to say this was his most proud achievement. Like he is most proud of this build. So there it is. There's the exterior, we'll go, we'll go inside in a second. There it is. That guy also cleared out all his chests. Yeah. <clears throat> Put them into my chest. Uh, anyway. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so it's a ski lodge, right? You just walk in. It's very cute. Very quaint. Very nice. And then you go up and he's got, like, rooms and stuff. I've never actually gone upstairs here before. It's very nice. I like it a lot. It's pretty, pretty... Not, not fancy, I want to say, but it's, like, it's, like, nailing what he's going for there. And, of course, he doesn't live here anymore, so all this stuff could get destroyed, but everybody on the server... Is an agreement that we should preserve his stuff as best as possible, but this this is a no rule land. You, know, you can TNT people here, but you shouldn't just TNT builds for no reason. The point of the server, like literally the goal of the server, is to build cool stuff. So, uh, and this is um, this is based off of the Ice Palace. I think it's called the Ice Palace from uh, Paper Mario. Um, it took me forever to guess what it was, um, but I'll show you where I figured it out. So. Uh, basically you go down one way. Okay, this wall is how I figured it out. It was hard. I had to look at it for a long time But when he first started it, I had a lot of names that I threw out there and then once he like got it like Some depth to it and then the combination of it going really long and then the walls I figured it out because you know It's lengthy so Mario and then these walls remind me of that ice place in Mario those uh, snowflake walls looking things uh, What is that? Was there a, supposed to be an explosion here? I think that's supposed to shoot me. Maybe that was the idea originally. I don't know. But yeah, you can go all over the place in here. There's little sub rooms. And yeah, there, I mean, we'll, we'll get lost in here, I'm pretty sure. There is a key there. Blue key. Yeah, you're supposed to take that. And so it's just a, a re remake of a, of a game level obviously um, we can go down here oh come on these things are too hard to work but, Yahoo! is that good oh god yeah. and then this will be what the red key or something red key yeah so it's a uh, a bunch of uh i don't know it's literally it's like a game level i don't know i don't know what, what else to say about it uh you just gotta know to go down there i don't know if he ever like intended for people to actually play with it or if it was just uh, a recreation it's like there's uh, there's an end goal you'll see it in a second but i don't think you can actually like play with it so eventually we'll cross over to that side um what's down here it's really cool it took him a long time this was like his uh you know after he did the chair and even while like while doing that, if I remember, he was working on this all along. Lots of clearing stuff out. It's a hole here. You can get out of it if you need to, though. And this is where you can cross over to the other side. I, I'm sure we're going to miss parts of this. There's just so much. So how about that remix, Benjamin Briggs? No. You can check out Benjamin Briggs in the description below as well, actually. Let go in here. Benjamin Briggs link is in the very very bottom of my description Check him out. He makes good uh, good remixes for sure uh, These are the bricks of course like Mario style, you know Brick the bricks. Uh, I think we went the wrong way Like I said, there is kind of an end goal, so we, we have to find it of course This will not be complete otherwise uh, oh, We went too far what the heck? Oh yeah, we gotta go down here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, and then, nope. Uh, wait, maybe we are, no, we're not supposed to go there. There's something down there, but I don't think we need it. It's a penguin, lots of penguins here. 
Then we just jump right on over. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> bad impressions, right? I'm sorry. Bad impressions are bad. All right, we got a bunch of snow golems chilling out here. Uh, red triple dip makes sense. And then we can get over here. There we go. This place is crazy, right? Like, I mean, he had to get triggered making this place. <laughs> I don't know if these were here before. I think somebody might have put these here. He did have a, uh, a a feud with someone. I don't remember if it ever got resolved. Are those? Oh yeah, he made this. Those are so derpy looking. They're amazing. And I think we're at the end. He had a feud with someone on the server that involved uh, the snow golems getting their revenge. Go check out Bintendo Hiss on YouTube and you can learn all about it. I won't go into detail about it. If you want to hear about it, it was pretty funny. It's hilarious. Basically, he left the Ice Plane Spike and uh, the snow people were felt betrayed and they waged war and it, it's hilarious so make, make sure you go check out his channel and you'll you'll see all about it and there is a penguin guy here oh yeah this there this used to be where his end portal was i, I guess i don't know for some reason i expected it to still be here but i i literally destroyed it uh... looks like somebody set up a little bit of a trap there but there's just buttons in here. Let's see. Let's uh, just flip this around really quick. That's kind of funny. I don't know who did this. It must have been uh, whoever he was feuding with. Um, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, his end portal used to be here, but the person he had war with... Okay, but just to summarize it, he and another person were involved in this war. So it wasn't just him, there was someone else on the server, so I can only tell you his name. Was that to lock me in so I die? <laughs> That's fine. Uh, there was another person involved, but it'll give away the mystery. So make sure to check out his channel, and then when you figure it out, you can go check out the other person's <laughs> channel as well. It's very cool. This is a, a awesome little build thing get out of the way please I'd punch him but I, I don't know if these guys can actually kill you or not that jump though so let's see if we can figure out the way back this is not where we came from please sir oh gosh I'm so lost let's see there we go and then we just run all the way back. All right, now we're going to go check out his new home. This is uh, the extent of the ice home. Basically, this is what he worked on for like half the life of the server, this uh, ice build. And then he made the ski lodge, and then he moved on to the... Um, he definitely did a lot, so it's pretty crazy. They moved on to the... I just literally stopped in the middle of this. He moved on to the jungle. Um, and then like shortly after moving to the jungle, he got really busy in real life, but he's still he's still on the server Just not as active lately I'm sure everybody who is not active now will be active more or summer. He just graduated uh, From college, so he's looking for jobs things like that. I think he has a job lined up, but uh, He you know, he's lots of new stuff. So and Everybody has stuff going on But uh, I'm sure everybody will come back to the server in their own time. Maybe not all at once probably not but I'm sure we'll see more from Ben. We'll go check out his jungle so you can see what he's been doing since his move. But he hasn't done a whole lot. He has worked on that the fishing hut at spawn that we saw in part one. And that looked uh, like it was missing like a couple signs maybe, but was basically done. He did work on that since living here, I think. Or maybe like in between, in the in-between time, because he didn't want to work on this more. While I worked out the jungle situation and figured out everything. He didn't want to work on anything here because there's no point. Uh, so he worked on the fishing hut. I think that's that's how I remember it happened. It might not be it. But. Of course, like I said, you can check out his channel. If you want to know how it actually worked. Because I'm sure I forgot. <laughs> Even though I helped coordinate it all. <laughs> but whatever. Alright, off to his new home. The jungle. It was that tower. He, he had got an upgrade in terms of travel time to his tower. This tower is a lot less painful to go to than the uh, Ice Plane Spike Tower. Not a lot, but quite a bit less. I mean, but mine's really far anyway, so it's not like I feel sorry for him or anything. Okay, so 
Let's go check out his home first. Let's keep it on bin, bin themed for now. First thing he built was a home for his horse out of the only block he had, snow, obviously. Actually, he brought all his stuff over with him here. And here's all his stuff. This is literally like what you see is, is what you got. Uh, and here is his mines, I'm pretty sure. No need to go there. If there's anything I missed here, Ben, let me know. Uh, he's also worked on, I think this is like actually a horse place, maybe? It would look like a horse place. But I can't tell for sure. Definitely looks like a horse hut of some sort. And then he found, like, I I put him far away. So this used to be Gaz or G. Pimby's home. But G. Pimby left uh, before all kinds of stuff. Basically, Ben ended up moving here. And I gave him the option, should I clear G. Pimby's stuff or leave it and just put you really far away? And he said, clear it and put me really far away. And I'm pretty sure that that... Like right there is G Pimby's stuff. And this is him here. So I put him really, I put him as far, like I wanted to put him far away. But like I wanted to put him in a good spot. So I found a good spot. I liked this spot a lot. I thought it looked cool. So I set him here. And uh, I, I didn't want the place to look the same as where G Pimby spawned. I wanted it to be different. So if it was somewhere here, it would look uh, very similar. Even though it would be further away. And uh, this over here wasn't as cool. This is really cool. I think this like area is, is freaking awesome. Um. But yeah, he found it in like a day. <laughs> but he kind of went looking for it. Uh, well, the first thing he like tried, the first thing he did like on, uh, so it lo doesn't look like he's done a lot. But the first thing he did was map the whole island. Like that was like the first major thing he did on there. Well, the only major thing he's done on there was map the whole island. Okay, and so we're going back now so that we can see Gaz's. So before Gaz left, this is everything he did. Just like with uh, Ben's old home there, I took out anything of value so that Ben wouldn't get an advantage, even though Ben had anything of value he could have ever wanted at that point, probably. But just to be fair, I took away everything of value. I emptied the chests, and I got rid of any um, highly valuable blocks, glowstones, not too much. Mainly, when I say valuable blocks, I mean things that people sell as biome-exclusive items. So, like, uh, we sell the sea lanterns. Um, if there are sea lanterns here, I would have gotten rid of them for the most part. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is like a, a hut or something. I wonder, I don't know if uh, Ben has added to this at all. I don't think he has. I think he came up, he told me that he was coming here because there was some useful stuff. I don't know what useful stuff. But yeah, this is G. Pimby's old island. If, uh... G. Pimbry ever came back, unlike Creepy Creech, he could not have this island back because <laughs> there is now someone here. Actually, Creepy Creech's island is destroyed, has been reset anyway, but he could still come back. I can I can undo that. Um, but yeah, they, I don't know. They're just random random buildings here. G. Pimbry was just trying to fluff it up, I think. Make it look like it was a, like a, I don't know, jungle civilization. It's like a jungle book. Kind of, it's like that town in the middle of jungle book. You know what I'm talking about? Probably not. Me neither. So this is a G Pimby. He might be in. The, he, he's probably not in the description. Actually, I don't think so anymore. Uh, if you go back to earlier episodes, his channel's in the description. But I don't think he uploads anymore. Um, there's a villager farm of some sort. Uh, this is the largest sugarcane farm I have ever seen. Oh, I remember. This was like one of the big reasons Ben wanted to come here because Ben had a sugarcane farm on his own old island. I don't think we saw it. And he had the, the villager spawner. He had a couple farms, and he didn't want to rebuild them. So when he found out Gaz's stuff was here and his farms were still intact, he said, yeah, I want to go there. <laughs> it's a melon farm. It's pretty cool. So yeah, that was the reason he uh, asked me to put a button back there. So that was where Gaz's button used to be, but I just took it away. I told Ben if he ever wanted to, he could have a second button, as everyone can. Um... And he chose to put it here because he, he liked the stuff here. Oh, and this was... It looks like G. Pimby was making a village sorter... A villager sorter as well, just like Zagog has. I didn't know... I've never noticed this before. Maybe I have. Maybe I just don't remember. But, yep. There we go. There is a... That guy. There was a... Uh, iron farm out there, but I got rid of it. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. <laughs> um... There's a horse thing. That might be actually Ben's creation there. I think I would have killed any horses. I probably, I think I killed all mobs in this area. And this is G. Pimby's actually house. I wonder if uh, if Ben's living here these days. I Yeah, because he must be because I got rid of this stuff. Yep, he must be living here. So it makes it look like he's done a lot. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so there is his place, High Enderman. And there's a mine down there, but we don't need to look at that. So that is literally all of Gpimpy's old place. I don't know if Nintendo has made any um, like additions to it. I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't feel like it. But he might have uh, been. Feel free to correct me in the comments or Discord or wherever. Anyway, so this is uh, Ben's Island, formerly Gpimpy's Island, but now Ben's Island. This is all Gpimpy's stuff, but we saw a lot of Ben's builds over at the Ice Plane Spike and then his few there so far. I hope you guys like the island. I think it's pretty cool. As I said before, you can check out Ben Tindo Hiss in the description below. His link will be there, and you can check out his channel. He's a really, uh, really chill channel, fun to watch, uh, very relaxed, but also really funny. So. I think you'll enjoy them a lot. I hope you'll check them out. I hope you guys are enjoying. And I'll see you next time on the final part of episode 20. Bye-bye.